Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another new tutorial of PowerPoint School. In our today's tutorial, I will show you how to make this infographic animation in just PowerPoint. So without wasting any further time, let's start the tutorial. At first, pick a rounded corner rectangle, drag it over here, drag this yellow dot to increase the roundness, go to format from shape field, changes color, from shape outline, select no outline. Then pick a oval shape holding the control shift from your keyboard drag it over here place it here in the middle go to format from shape field changes color from shape outline select no outline then press control D to make a duplicate of it bring it to here pick a rectangle drag it over this circle to cover this half portion and from merge shape select intersect then bring this half circle over here to cover this area again make a duplicate of this circle from shape field change this color to white holding the control shift make it a smaller one place it here in the middle select this one press ctrl d to duplicate change this color from shape field now we need to resize this rounded corner rectangle from both sides and place it here in the middle Then pick a text box, drag it over this circle, add some text. Selecting all the text, change the font to TWC and empty. Make it bold and increase the font size. Make it center, change the font color. Place it here in the middle. Holding the control shift, drag this text box to upward. Change all the text, increase the font size. Take it a bit upward and now before we go to the animation part we have to do something more holding the control button select this half circle this text box and this white circle then right click on them and select bring to front now we can go for the animation so select this one go to animation click on animation pane to look over our animation status from add animation we have to select fly in Keep this on click duration 0.50 seconds click on this drop down arrow go to effect option and increase the smooth end press ok. Select this text box from add animation select zoom set start with previous duration 0.25 seconds delay 0.25 seconds. Now what we need to do select all of them and press ctrl D to duplicate. Now bring them to here press ctrl D few times more to have something like this. After that we have to select all of these and place them here in the middle of our slide. Now I will select this shape, go to format from shape fill I will change its color. Do the same for this circle, select and from shape fill change its color. Do the same for this half circle, select and change its color. In the same way I will change all the colors of these rounded corner rectangles and these circles. This is really simple, you just need to select the shapes and from shape fill change their colors. And here we have to do the same, just select the text and change their color so that it matches with their respective shapes. As changing the font color is not that much difficult, so to save your time here I am doing it in fast forward mode, you just need to select the text and from this font color changing option you just need to change the color. After that if you go to the animation pane here you can see that we have already added all the animation. But here we need to make some changes. Go to animation. For this second fly in animation set it after previous and delay 0.25 second. For this zoom animation increase the delay 0.50 second for this third fly in animation set start after previous delay 0.25 seconds for this zoom animation increase the delay 0.50 second for this fly in animation set start after previous and delay 0.25 seconds here you can see that i'm just adjusting the animation time so that our animation looks perfect for the fly in animation we have to make it start after previous and for the zoom animation increase the delay to 0.50 seconds. Now from our previous slide I'll just copy this upper portion by pressing ctrl C and paste it here by pressing ctrl V. And we are done. Now if we start the slideshow you can see that our whole animation is working perfectly. You can download this template for free, I've given the download link in the video description. 
If you have enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you give a like for this video. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, share with your friends and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you get a notification when we upload a new video. So that's all for today. Hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.